Hello and welcome. My name is Derek. Sit back, relax, and enjoy as we continue building the city of Goose Bay in City Skylines. So we uh, got a few things to cover today here before we really start building. Uh, first here is this um, interchange with the highway. Um, so if you'll recall, we used to have this Parklow interchange similar but slightly different dimensions than this one over here. Um, so what I've actually done, um, I, it took up a lot of space on this island and I wanted to reclaim this space. So what I did, if we take a look underground, uh, we can see that the highway continues on underground and then comes out over here. And then we have all these connections. Um, this is actually a, a couple different levels here. So the highway is the, the lowest level. Then this uh, oval roundabout is uh, the next level up. And then it, it goes from there up to street level. All right, so if we take a look at street level, um, I'll actually start down. Uh, so this is the, the north end. That's the north. This way is south. Um, so starting at the north end of the main avenue going through the city. I use these asymmetrical roads, um, these three plus two lanes. Um, so when they get to the traffic lights, they all have their own separate lanes that they can take. So I continued that on. Uh, this is a traffic light here. So we got three, three, and then two going straight through. So these people going in the straight lane can branch off and go here or here. And then every other intersection is uh, no traffic lights. The streets coming in and going out are um, right turn only. So these two lanes can only turn right and they can't go straight or go left through the intersection. Um, but people on the main avenue can turn left into those roads. So again, over here, this is a traffic light intersection, and then this one is the one closest to the interchange. So we wanted to keep that one free flowing as possible. So for the interchange, um, we're actually using what's called a diverging diamond. Um, so the traffic going southbound on this right lane, when they get to this intersection here, they can make a right-hand turn and go out um, onto the highway going west or they can continue through the intersection changing over to the left side and they can either continue straight through or they can use this tunnel to go um, east on the highway. All right, so continuing straight through, they change back over to the correct side of the road and then traffic coming off the highway that wants to go south is coming along this way and heading south. All right, and then same deal going from the other side. Um, we got uh, these people going north. They can either go east onto the highway or they can continue straight through going north. So now they're on the left side. They can go west onto the highway or continue straight north going through the intersection and then they're joined by traffic coming off the highway this way going north. All right, so that basically just cleaned everything up. Um, another huge thing, if you've uh, noticed here, is that uh, we started the high density residential. So in the last stream, we um, added these high density residential buildings. Uh, we zoned them, they didn't really start coming in. Um, but now they're in. And then when I redid this area here, I sprinkled in some high density. So if we take a look here, these are high density in through here, just little pockets of it. Eventually, we are going to change out everything. Uh, but what I want to do is um, kind of make this part blend in a little better. So you got just these blocks of high density, and then they're surrounded by this um, low density. So I want to maybe change a couple of these over to high density so it kind of balances out. So we'll do that. Um, what I also did was on the other side here, I just kind of cleaned up this connection. I added uh, this road to kind of mirror 
what we were doing on the other side, but I gave us a little bit more room on this side. And I also gave us some uh, some names here. So we got Crescent Square, we got McKay Heights. Uh, this is North Woodcrest and South Woodcrest, so they're separated by the uh, railway station here. We got Ollie Park over by Goose Island. And uh, that's it for district names this episode. Um, farming still needs a name, and uh, once we get doing forestry, that's going to need a name as well. All right, so we got this future interchange. So we got these other two industries. We're not going to touch this this episode because we didn't even get to forestry yet. Um, so once we get forestry running, once these two are going, then we can start working on our other two industries up there. All right, so I think um, this area here might be good for some more residential, so we might work on that a little bit. Let's do the rezoning that I talked about here. Alright, so yeah, like I said, just sprinkling in some of these plots, we'll get this going. Got a lot of people that are trying to merge and go straight through here. I want to see where all these people are going here. Okay, so these people coming off the highway, there are some trucks that are delivering to commercial. It seems like mostly residential that's trying to, uh, to get to these places. I mean, we do have a lot of people moving in, so that's to be expected. So we'll just, we'll keep an eye on that. But we might have to do something. See, it's clear right now. It's just sometimes it just gets a little, a little blocked up. Let's take a look at our transit, actually. There's a lot of people at this stop. See, so we got 726 people using it. Ok, 
Okay, this is the one that comes from the train station that goes to Goose Island. All right, so that makes sense, because that's the one that's closest to the school. All right, so it does look like Mass Transit is doing its job, so it's pretty good. All right, so it looks like we're actually getting a little bit of industrial demand here. So we're going to do the very beginnings of our forestry. So let us grab this road. Like that, and like that. Okay, let's see how big these forestry buildings actually are. I remember them being a little big. Yeah, so this workers' barracks is the, the hardest one because they're kind of big. So we might have to grid out a little area for them. All right, the actual main forestry building is also quite large. Um, so we're going to do like a little main area entrance here. Okay, perfect. So we plop that building down. All right, so let's take a look here. We are going to be putting the uh, the workers' barracks and the maintenance buildings in eventually, but let's just start getting some trees going because that's that's why we're here for forestry. We got the small tree plantation, the medium, and the large. Then we got the sapling field. We only have a small and a large for that one. So those are our our production buildings. Then basically we have two products that come from the trees. We got the uh, plain timber and paper. So there's two different sizes for each of those. Basically a, a small and a large for the plain timber and a small and a large for the paper. Then we got our warehouses and our storage areas for the, um, the raw materials. All right, so the small plantation. This will be about seven. By nine, I think that looks like seven by nine.
Yeah, so let's see what that looks like. We're going to take um, a pause for a second here. Right, we're just going to make this look nice by using this arrange it line mode. Select all the nodes. And that does not look nice. All right, so we won't use that. You know what? We'll just le we'll leave it as is. That's fine. Adds a little character. Let's pop another tree plantation in. Right there. And it looks like we got our road kind of perfect there. And we just want to give ourselves as many connections as possible. Because the AI is going to pick the most efficient route, whatever that route is. And if you give them enough choices to make efficient routes, then they'll take them. All right, let's see how big the maintenance building is for this. Ooh, that's large too. We could probably do something over here. But we would want to line it up. Pull this back to about here. Okay, I think like that. Oh, but it wants to go that way, so we gotta make a road. Okay. Out here.
Okay, and that is exactly where we wanted it to go. Now we're going to take that out. We're going to put a road here. Move that node up a little bit. Okay, and I'm not going to connect there. But we are going to connect here. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so let's keep that going. Mm. All right, so we got to get some storage buildings for these raw materials. So we could do the... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, we'll do the small one for now, because we're just small. Just starting out, where can we put that? All right, so we could just move these around a little bit. All right, not bad. Maybe we can actually move this one a little bit closer. Yeah, all right, that's better. All right, and we want to keep these on balanced for now. It's different options. There's balanced, there's filled, and then there's empty. 
Um, if you do fill, this will eventually start bringing in trucks from outside if you're not producing enough uh, because it is trying to keep it filled. So traffic might become an issue if you put it on fill. All right, let's just pop a, a couple more of these tree plantations in. Say um, one there. And one there. All right, so we'll let that go for a little bit. We do have our high residential and commercial demand. Um, let's see, now our other houses did not despawn when we rezoned here. So they normally do, so we're just gonna we're gonna help that along. Okay, so this one, this one. These over here and that one. Bye. All right, so those are coming back in there. Uh-oh, looks like we got a little bit of an electricity problem here. <coughs> um, now, just like death care for, uh, hey, AJ, how's it going? Welcome to the, to the stream here. Good to have you. All right, so we are going to fix our power problems here. So we're not out of power yet, but we're going to be if we don't get going. We definitely don't want that. So as you can see here, uh, these are the, the power buildings that I've been using, the, uh, the block services, just like with Death Care. So that's going to be this one here, it provides 10 megawatts. So I like to just kind of hide them in buildings that I know aren't going anywhere, and they won't pop through. I'm just going to rotate that like that. And we're just going to pop some in here. Okay, so these are 10 megawatts a piece. So we just gave ourselves 60 megawatts. We'll do 70, 
80, 90, and 100. So we're playing on unlimited money, it doesn't really matter. So we'll just give ourselves the extra power, and then if you can see as we hit play, those will all start to turn on, and we're good with power for a little bit here. While I'm here, we're just going to do a little bit of uh, decoration. So this is our high school here. We just have our regular city trees. We could do a little bit better. Let's pull this size down a little bit, clear these out. We're going to go into our content creator trees because I like these trees better than the vanilla ones. And our brush size down to single. We're just going to put some good trees in. So live oaks are good, uh, good trees for this back area here. We'll put a few in there. Sometimes you get small ones. Um, so you get big ones and then you get these small ones sometimes. So these small ones can go in different areas. You just got to kind of play with what you get. Okay, so this is a big one, so we'll put that here in the middle. That one can go more like in this corner. And then here's another big one, so we'll, we'll stick that one back here. Put you there. Here's another big one. We got that. Keep getting these big ones here. And we'll just put that one there. We'll add in a few of these young lindens, just to kind of put a little character. Okay, and that's looking good. Now we're going to throw on Tree Anarchy. I'm going to pop a couple of these Jacaranda trees for a little bit of color. And then turn that promptly off before I forget. Okay, so looking good there. Let's do a little bit more rezoning here. All right, so we'll rezone this area. Maybe like up to here.
All right, and we're just taking those out here. Because they won't just go away sometimes, so you have to kind of force them. The same thing over here. Put those in, get rid of the house. And we'll do the same thing over here. We're just going to try to blend in the high density with the low density. So we're going to take this low density out, put a high density in, we'll do the same thing over here. Take that out, put this in, get rid of that building. All right, so those will start to fill in. So that's basically what we were trying to do is blend in so it doesn't just go immediately to a big chunk of high density. But we definitely want the high density to eventually fill out this whole island. Uh, but it's a process, and we can't just uh, convert it all at once because when you get a, a whole bunch of people moving in all at once, it affects your traffic, and then eventually you'll get this death wave where a whole bunch of people that moved in will start to die off. So that's definitely not something you want either. All right, so just taking a quick look at traffic. Um, traffic in and out of this industry area is still looking pretty good. So our forestry industry, so we got all of these trucks. Ooh, they all look like little ants. Let's put another storage building. right there. Okay, so the storage is currently all on this road and on this side of the road, so that's kind of causing a little bit of an issue. So we're going to give another storage option, see how that takes care of that. I mean, right now the traffic, it's not backing up um, into different areas, so it's all staying right there, so that's pretty good. But we'll definitely keep an eye on that.
All right, so that'll uh, that'll keep going. All right, and they have different options now. So they got this uh, this main road down here and this main road. Both definitely good options for getting around, depending on where you want to go. Let's take a look at our traffic down here at the cargo terminal for the railway. Barely any traffic, that's not bad at all. Uh, this cargo terminal will also bring in goods for our citizens from um, outside, like um, like industrial goods, zoned industrial goods. Um, that's why I haven't zoned any industrial yet, because they could just come in from off the map. Okay, so um, we're definitely making a lot. So let's get that put into things. So like I said, we can output our plain timber and we can output our paper. There's a small and a large factory for each of those. Um, so the small for the plain timber is the sawmill. Okay, so that's not really big in size. And then for the paper, it's the biomass pellet plant. All right, so that's a pretty wide one. So unlike this maintenance building that's, that's not as wide, but it's longer, this one has to go that way. Or has to be along a road like this. So that's actually not a bad road for that. So we're gonna actually butt that up along here, which will let Phillips drive down here and continue on. I just realized I was pointing at the screen like you could see what I was doing. All right, so we'll put that there. We'll grab our road. And we'll just pull that along like so. I'm just going to use move it to nudge this where I want it to be, right about there. And then we're going to go up with it. And we're not going to go down just yet. We're going to continue this along, but it looks like we are going to have to curve it a little bit. So let's start there. Make our curve with this node and just kind of pull that along. I don't think it's going to stay this long, but I just wanted it for the, uh, the angle. All right, so let's take a look at our sawmill. All right, now the sawmill could actually go right along this road like this. Let's bring it up to about there. All right, and then uh, for both of these buildings, they need to be put into warehouses. We will need two of them. Um, we're going to use the small warehouse. All right, so that one can go there, and can that? That just barely fits if I overlap it. Well, let's see what that looks like. Ugh, not too good. But we can move this one down, it's okay. Okay, those look good. And then we are going to 
put a connection about here. I'm just going to go straight down with that. Oh, that did not go how I wanted. That's better. And then I think we can actually get rid of that. And now we need to set these warehouses to the goods that they're going to accept. So this one, I think we will make the plain timber because the sawmill is right there. I mean, either, it doesn't really matter, but we'll put the paper at this one. Okay, and we'll just get that going. Um, now another thing we should probably think about is some storage in this area for raw goods. So instead of them having to go here and then come here, they can be brought to maybe like a little warehouse area over here. We'll bring that off like that. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to put them along this road first. And then we're going to make roads. That go off this way. Now we're going to move them to these other roads. So the entrance point is over here. That one's going to be difficult for me. So we're just going to use move it. All right, so that one would be something like that. And now this one has to face this way. All right, and that'll that'll just keep going like that. All right, so we got some more residential and commercial demand. Let's think about where we want to put these people. We could continue out Crescent Square. I think we will actually do that. So let's just uh, pop some commercial in here.
All right, so we filled in some residential there. We're going to start seeing people coming in. So we'll leave that there. We do need to sprinkle in some commercial around the city. Looks like we got a lot of vacant area over here. Okay, so we'll put some there. Don't want it too close to this intersection here, so we're going to back that off. Then fill in some more over here. Okay, and we'll let that come in. Alright, let's take a look at our forestry. See how that's coming along. Okay, so that'll balance out eventually. We just got to give that some time. All right, so these trucks, I believe, are all going, yep, they're going to forestry. What's interesting is a lot of the trucks are actually choosing to come off of this and use this other road. I mean, at least they're not all clogging up this, but they're they're making some pretty good choices here. But this is, uh, I mean, it is starting to get backed up a little bit, but these are still coming through. So we'll keep our eye on that. I haven't checked out the zoo lately. It's still doing good. Looks like we're actually probably going to hit level 5 pretty soon here. We need about 525 more visitors. It's coming along. All right, and then we got this other one, uh, the Brush Family Park. This one's kind of stuck at level three. Uh, we definitely have enough visitors. Plenty of people are coming. Um, but we need to get our entertainment up to at least 720 in order to get to level four, uh, which shouldn't be that hard. Let's actually see what we could do to get that up right now. Go into our City Parks tab. trampoline that gives us a hundred entertainment. That'd probably be good right about um, here. All right, good. And that leveled us up immediately. So in order to get to level five for this park, we do need 1120 for entertainment, which is definitely doable. Just got to squeeze some things in. Something else we don't have. Uh, we do have the chess board. We could probably put a couple more restrooms around because we have one over here. So let's give them one say at this crossroad there. And then another one over here. Okay, so those are only 10. Those are 60, and the larger gazebos are also 60. 
Um, so let's uh, let's put a couple of these in here. Put one say here and here. Be there. Here. And we may need to just put another path through here to get some more in there. Uh, let's put a couple of these bigger red ones. We'll put you there and there. What does that put us at? Oh, look at that. Level five. Let's see if we can fit some more trees in through here. We could hand put some trees in if we wanted to. Might save that for another time, but we got that park up to level five, so that's perfect. And this one, we are almost there. So we're gonna have two level five parks. This zoo just looks amazing. Like, let's find somebody. Hopefully we hit level five while we're following somebody. So they're going to the giraffe enclosure. This is the first person camera mod. All right, and she's at the giraffe enclosure. All right, so that was a nice fun little walk through the zoo. All right, so our industrial demand is uh, actually still quite high. Let's see what's going on over here. We're still doing a lot of importing. But why? I mean, these storage yards are all full. At least the traffic kind of calmed down here. What do we got still coming off of here? Yeah, see, it was just an initial wave of trucks that came in. I think they were trying to fill up the storage. And now that the storage is full, that's, what, that's why our imports are high. And that's why the own production is uh, continuing to get bigger. Because we imported a bunch to fill these. But I have them at balance, so I don't know why they filled them. I'm sure if we let that go, that'll just kind of balance itself out. All right, and our farming. All right, so yeah, we're actually gonna hit level five with our farming pretty soon too. Uh, we have um, we have enough workers. Actually, no, we need more workers. We have space for workers. 
but we need more workers and we need more production. So I'm sure if we just leave this uh, demand here for industrial, eventually we'll get more workers for that. Oh, it's Nate. Hello, Nate. Welcome. He actually joined at the right time because the Goose Bay Zoo just hit level 5. How are we doing tonight, Nate? Said he's actually doing pretty good, Nate. We uh, renamed some of these districts here that had no names or placeholder names. I think you'll like this one. We got Ollie Park. This is North and South Woodcrest. We got McKay Heights. We got the Brush Family Park. That's been named like that for a while. So we started sprinkling in some uh, high-density residential inside of the uh, the island here. We've got little patches of high density here and there. Eventually, the whole whole island is going to be high density. Where in the city would you want to live, Nate? I think Ollie Park is kind of exclusive. Nice, nice little tucked away neighborhood. Easy access to the city, but still kind of quiet. We'll find you a nice little place in here. You can live in the souvenir stand. All right, excellent. We're all on our own production now. This is great. All right, so soon we're going to be outputting more and more paper and plain timber. Right now we're 9% full, so we are actually producing paper and plain timber. Let's check out that one. That one's 9% as well. So our forestry industry is really coming along here. We got our specialty products over here, and then we got our, our little tree plantations over here, reducing all these trees here. Everything's looking good. Speaking of trees, I think there's some trees inside this firehouse. So let's uh, let's take care of that real quick. Okay, pretty pretty, nice. All right, so our residential demand has gone down. Uh, we do still have quite a commercial demand. So let's see about putting some more commercial down. We got some nice places like over here by the, uh, the rail lines. We definitely don't want to put people there because they don't want to live near the railroad tracks. I mean, I guess maybe some people do, but I don't. So we'll just butt up some commercial next to the rail tracks. Looking good. Okay, where else can we squeeze in a little? Um, could probably put some along the back side of here. All right, just sprinkling a little bit in. We don't want huge blocks of commercial because then a whole bunch of trucks will start going there. 
because they need goods delivered. We want to put just enough, but not too much. We could probably put a little bit more over here. I don't want to put them too close to the intersection. Well, hello, the blind gamer, 911. Welcome. Stream's going good. Glad you're here. We're just throwing in some small pockets of commercial here and there. Nothing too much. Put a couple here, a couple here. I think I want to leave this area open for something special down the road. It looks like we got a little bit of a traffic issue. We're going to do like we did over here. All right, we're just going to add a node right here so we can upgrade these in two different sections. We're going to upgrade that and that. Switch that around. So this intersection will have three separate lanes for three different directions that they can go. 911 noted. Thank you. Oh, and I forgot this road doesn't have an elevated section. That sucks. All right, so we're going to have to uh, deal with that at that intersection. It's fine. Let's change that back to the road that we had it. All right, so this one is going to be a traffic light. And I think these other roads are just going to uh, to be right turn only. Hey, lurk away. Thanks for stopping by. Always glad to have you. All right, so we'll leave that for a while, see how that goes. Already looks like it's making an impact. Oh, 
All right, so that's definitely coming along. All right, so we will definitely be adding more residential and commercial as time goes on. But as of right now, we don't really have the demand. And I don't really want to uh, put in more industrial because we are still trying to grow these industries. So we'll hold off on that for now. I'm just going to throw in some quick roads along the back of Crescent Square because I think what we're going to do is start work on a nature reserve park. Let's just grab that road. All right, so something like that, we will uh, probably use this for a cargo harbor along here. No, not cargo, passenger, passenger harbor. We don't want cargo coming there. Probably do that over here. All right, so I'm gonna do a little tree removal. These are the vanilla trees, and I'm not really too fond of them. Put in my dense trees that I like. All right, let's take a look at what we're working with. So we got this little, little tiny boy hill here. But I think we're going to do some major landscaping. And make ourselves a little artificial hill. So I think that might be the top height that we want.
All right, yeah, maybe something like that. And then we're going to grab... So maybe that height. Okay, and then we'll do this height, and then we'll do some smoothing. All right, so this height is actually already basically this height, so that works out pretty well. All right, so that's pretty much the base of what I'm going for. And now we'll just smooth it out a little bit. All right, so that is the start of the uh, the nature reserve. Yeah, sorry, Nate, I got a little distracted there. No, no, we got the sound.
I just got lost in my terraforming. Got any good names for a nature reserve? Always appreciate it, Nate. The best nature reserve. Sounds good. You know what? We, we will have to go with that one. Okay, D's Nature Reserve. Soon to be open for business. All right, so I'm, I'm thinking a good, nice uh, main entrance over here. I'm gonna put some parking over here too. Okay, so we go to our nature reserve, main gate, and uh, let's let's do something a little fancy actually. Let's find a little one U road here. Start from this side first. I have an idea. We're going to go up eight. Okay, and we're going to reverse these. Now we'll put in our main gate and some of these parking lots. Which I'm just going to duplicate. Okay, and I'm just going to fiddle with these, make them look nice. Okay, I think that looks good. Now let's pop in some nice trees.
Okay. Now we'll just put some of these uh, dense trees around here. We're going to put plenty of trees in this area. So this is just to uh, get us going. All right, and obviously this path is going to come off. All right, so I just want to make a nice little level uh, sloped area. Let's just make our path look nice so that when they get up here, they have a nice, easy, gentle slope on their path. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I want to bring this pad out a little more. Yeah, I'm not going too crazy with it right now because I still got to get the path up there. I'm just trying to get a good idea of how I want this to look. All right, so I want to get to here. So I'm going to right click here and I'm going to drag from here over to there. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing. I want to get to about here. So from here, we're going to drag up. Okay, so now we do a little, a little smooth in here. Gonna take this one, we're gonna flatten a little area here so that our path can connect up. So we'll have all these winding paths. Okay, let's grab our path. And now the first one we're gonna do is up this way. Okay, we're gonna have another one branch off and go this way on our other slope. Okay, this one. 
it's going to go up here. All right, so something like that. And then every once in a while, we'll have um, little pads that come back, maybe switchbacks that, uh, that kind of switch back around and come down to the, the level below it. And then eventually, we will work our way up to this upper level here. All right, so we got our main park gate there. Okay, so there's, I mean, there's a lot of stuff we could put in here. Put a, a look up tower, a look out, look up, a look out tower. We'll put one, uh, let's do the tall one, put that right about there. Okay, so they're going to be able to look out towards the city. And then on the other side, we'll have some giving really nice views. We'll probably have some fishing piers, uh, get a nice little beach area going. It's going to be a really nice area eventually, but this is going to take a lot of work to, to make it look nice. But we will get there, and it will look fantastic. Do a little more smoothing over here. All right, so we're going to extend this path out a little bit and use our sloping tool to fix this here. Bring that up to home. Put that there. Bring it out to about there. Then we are going to slope from this one to this one. Okay, 2.6%, very gentle. And we'll just smooth that out a little bit. There we go. All right, so we're going to put these little signs up. Tell people where to go.
And I think we're just going to paint ourselves a nice little, little tree area. Just to mark out the boundaries of where we're going to want to go. All right, so we'll say that whole area is going to be the nature reserve, D's nature reserve. All right, and then we're just going to uh, make sure our district for the park matches up with our tree line. And then we'll always know where the park is. Okay, wonderful. All right, so I want to put one of these um, little camping areas in here. We're going to be extending this trail out, but I think I want it to go probably about here. Alright, so we got a couple campfire sites. We'll give them a little place where they can get wood from. I feel like these nature reserves really come with a lot more stuff that you could put around just to make it feel a little more lively. Give them a couple outhouses here. I think that's facing out that way. Yeah, okay, so that's the front. Alright, so we'll put a couple of those. I'm going to put a couple of these tents. One of these bigger ones.
All right, and we're just going to put some trees in by hand. I like a few of these pine trees. So just a little secluded area away from the main area. All right, and that's basically what we're going to do as we go along and put these buildings. We're going to put some trees in around them. So instead of filling in the whole area with trees, we're going to conform the trees around where we want the buildings. All right, so let's put another little camping area, I guess around here. All right, so this one's a little different. This is the, uh, the camping site with the tents, whereas this one has more cabins. All right, so since we had cabins with some little tent areas, we got tents, and we'll throw in a couple little cabins here and there. Or maybe these lean-to shelters. Yeah, let's put a couple of these in. We'll put one of you there. Put this long boy over here. Think about that. We'll do a little bit of move it here. Okay, I think that looks good.
And we'll just put in some trees around it. All right, and I think this area is uh, really starting to come together here. Pretty nice and secluded, nice place to go camping. Let's take a look at our line of sight here from the top of this tower. All right, so we're probably not going to want to put any trees around here once we get up to this height. Because we're going to want to leave them. I mean, I know it's just a game, but these sims deserve a nice view too. I, okay, okay, Nate, I stand corrected. It's not just a game. I'm a very benevolent creator for my Sims. Give them all the nice perks and amenities that they desire. That's really starting to look good there. Okay, all this residential demand uh, really kicked in. We're starting to fill out in Crescent Square. Still have this block that we could do something with over in McKay Heights. And we got a good number of uh, high-density residential and commercial buildings, including office buildings. So the, uh, the zoning along this road is, we got some offices here, because um, the office doesn't really produce any traffic at all. Which you would think people need to drive to their job, but I guess they don't. All right, so I think the next residential is going to kind of take us in this direction because we do have this oil and the ore industries, and they are going to need residential close-ish by. So we're going to have to get out that way and then, uh, and then build this future interchange. So I think that's something that we'll definitely take a look at. Not today, but going forward. Looks like traffic is flowing pretty well at this interchange. No real issues. We pretty much solved this.
Yeah, so I mean, in, in some places it, it does look like we got a couple traffic hotspots, but all in all, I would say it's pretty much flowing the way you would expect in a city. 81% traffic flow. So now that we got the uh, high density here, we could probably start thinking about our metro. So I think maybe that will be something that we do right now. So we have this main train station here that already has three metro lines attached to it, or metro stations, I should say. Um, so what I was planning on doing with those is taking the first one and bringing it over towards Ali Park. The middle one is going to go straight up into Goose Island. And then this other one is going to go over to the right and go to this new area over here. So let's start on the Goose Island line. Because that's where our traffic is pretty much dictating. Let's actually think about where we want these stops first off. I think I'm just going to take it straight across and we'll do stops along this corridor so people can walk up this way and let's not also forget that we have a bus that's basically circling the entire island. So yeah, we're going to go along this road here. Which means we are going to have to take some buildings out but we'll try to take out ones that Kind of match the size of the metro station. And this is all residential along here. So when we put these stations, we're going to actually throw a little bit of commercial around them. All right, so let's take Anarchy off for a second. What's this? This is, that's a school. All right, so our first one is going to go here. OK, that's a dog park. It's a house. We don't need these too close to each other. That might be good. OK, 
Okay, so we got here, here. here and here okay let's get these all connected to each other now I made sure that this highway was sunken pretty low so that we could just take this metro line and bring it straight across and it won't interfere whatsoever the metro line is much higher than the highway is. Okay, so we just put all these stops in. We're going to loop around. And then finish back at the train station. All right, so that metro is going to bring people up and down Goose Island. All right, and we'll let that go. All right, so we put that metro in. Uh, we got both of these parks up to level five, which is pretty amazing. Um, this one, you know, once it gets its visitors, it's going to start leveling up because we already got, you know, 964 entertainment. And this is definitely going to be a level five in no time. So then, uh, you know, we can finish filling out Crescent Square, bring it, you know, towards the the ocean there. And then we can, uh, you know, start building over here and work out to our other industries over here. So I think this is actually a pretty good place to leave it. We're looking pretty good here. Uh, we got up to 26,000 in population. I think we started at around 15,000. So all in all, we, uh, we added a lot of people today. And we're looking pretty, pretty nice here. Very pretty. All right, so thank you so much for joining me, and uh, I hope you uh, I hope you join me next week for more Goose Bay, and also this Monday. This Monday we're finishing up Star Trek Voyager Elite Force for Retro Monday, so I hope you will join me on Monday for that as well. Um, but again, thank you so much. If you haven't followed, please follow, and uh, I will catch you next time. Bye bye.